the XML uh, HTTP request uh, has a property called uh, ready state. So in this uh, demo, we will take a look at uh, the uh, nature of this particular property. I have created a folder called ready state. So uh, the index.html is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it has got a src uh, initialized to app.js. And also, uh, for the sake of brevity, uh, I am keeping the data uh, to be very simple. So we have a simple uh, JSON string. And uh, now uh, we will take a look at uh, the app.js. So by now we are familiar with uh, the first step, which is the creation of the object. And then you are calling the uh, open, then followed by the send. When this uh, send method is uh, invoked, uh, the result of that is uh, the XML HTTP request uh, goes through uh, various changes in its uh, state and uh, using the onready uh, state uh, uh, change event, we will be able to capture that. Uh, so we could observe that there are certain properties called uh, ready state, status and then status text. Uh, so let us uh, review what these uh, properties are. This is the documentation page of uh, ready state. And what uh, this uh, ready state is, so the XML uh, HTTP request uh, ready start property returns the state and XML uh, the client is in. So therefore, the client state is something that is uh, tracked by this particular, um, you know, property. And uh, this state, uh, there are four uh, states. Uh, initially, when uh, it is unsent, it is zero. And uh, when you call this open method, the code will be one. And uh, then uh, once the send has been called uh, and the headers and then uh, status are uh, available, then uh, it is actually two. Then followed by loading when, uh, you know, downloading this uh, response text uh, that holds a certain partial data. And finally, when uh, everything is complete, uh, when the operation is complete, it is uh, changed to four. So these are the various uh, four states uh, that are maintained by the HTTP request object. So having understood the, the uh, ready state uh, property, uh, so you could uh, call upon this particular event called on ready state change. Uh, you could initialize that with a function. And uh, you are now using uh, the XHR dot ready state that will actually give you the uh, state this particular XHR is in. And then uh, it will give you the status and then the status uh, text. So status means it's the code. Status text is the associated message. So let's run that uh, file. So if you could uh, see this, uh, it is two, three, four. So which means that uh, you have this uh, property. So initially when it is opened, uh, then uh, it would have got initialized into one. And subsequently each uh, change in the state uh, has resulted in this uh, two, three, four. So uh, that's what uh, happened here. Now so far as this uh, 200 is concerned, uh, that is uh, called the status. So 200 is uh, the code for success and uh, this is the uh, status text. This OK is the status text that is associated with this uh, 200. So therefore you have a status which is a, a number and there is a text which is associated with that number which is the descriptor that is actually the status uh, text properties. So you can uh, review those uh, properties uh, from this uh, source code here. So you have the ready state which is uh, giving you the 2, 3, 4 as the numbers and then you have a status that is giving you 200 uh, that stands for uh, OK uh, which is kept track by the uh, status text.